Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at net worth. We're going to answer the question, what are assets and liabilities and how do they affect net worth? So an asset is an item or an amount of money that you own, such as your car, the current value of your house, or money in cash and investments. Liabilities is the opposite of that. It's the money that you owe to a financial institution, such as student loans, credit card debt, a car loan, or a mortgage. So to figure out your net worth, which is how much your assets and liabilities are worth, you take your assets, which is what you own, and then subtract your liabilities from it. So number one says Amanda is calculating her net worth. Her assets have a total of $72,845 and her liabilities have a total of $29,850. What is the value of Amanda's net worth? So to find her net worth, we will take her assets and subtract her liabilities from them. So let's take her assets, which was $72,845, and I am going to subtract her liabilities, which was $29,800 from it and that will tell me what her net worth is. So 72,845 minus 29,800, that would be $43,045 as her net worth. Okay, let's look at number two. It says Kevin is working with a financial planner and is told that he has a net worth of $230,735. If the total of his assets are $245,000, then what is the total value of his liabilities? So remember to find our net worth, we take our assets and subtract our liabilities from them. So they took the $245,000 assets, subtracted something, and then got $230,735 from it. So to figure out the liabilities, I need to find the difference between these two things. So I'll take the 245,000 and subtract the $230,735 from it. And that will tell me what the liabilities were that made the assets decrease. I missed a zero in there. There we go. So that means that the liabilities are $14,625. Let's look at three. It says Jasmine calculated her net worth to be $67,300. If she has a total liability of 12,000, then what was the total value of her assets? So net worth is your assets minus your liabilities. So they subtracted 12,000 from the assets and got this. So to find the assets, I would add this back to it because that's what we took away. So the net worth was 67,300. To figure out her assets, I'm going to add the liabilities back to it and we get $79,300 for Jasmine's assets. Okay, number four says that Dylan wants to calculate his net worth statement. So he writes down his financial information, categorize them into assets and liabilities in the table below and construct a net worth statement. So let's just go through each of these things. A house would be an asset because he could sell that and get money from it. And the current value of it is $350,000. Mortgage is what you owe, so that's a liability. And it is 160000 Checking account, that's how much money he has, which is 2350 Credit card debt, that's how much he would owe. The credit card company is $1,760. Car, he could sell that and get money, so that is an asset, and the current value is $12,300. Savings is also an asset, which is $4,000. 
And then student loans is something he owes and that is $7,500. So now let's find his total assets and liabilities. I'm gonna find the assets first by adding all the assets together. So Dylan's current assets are $368,650. Now let's find his liabilities by adding those together. So 1,000, or sorry, 160,000 for the mortgage plus 1,760 and 7,500 for the debts. So his total liabilities are $169,260. So now I want to find his net worth. So I'm going to take his assets, which were $368,650, and subtract the liabilities from them, which was $169,260. So 368650 minus 169260, his net worth would be $199,390. All right, last one says the table shows Emma's net worth. Assets are shown in positive numbers and liabilities are shown as negative numbers. Emma's net worth is $111,850. Based on the information in the table, what is the current value of Emma's checking account? So the first thing that I want to do is figure out what her assets and liabilities are and then figure out the net worth statement with just that. And then I can find the difference between that net worth and this one. And that will tell me the difference between her checking account. So let's start by just calculating her assets, which would be her house, her investment, and her savings account. So 175,000 plus 15,000 plus 2,500. That will tell me her current assets. So her current assets without the checking account are worth $192,500. And then we can find her liabilities by adding those things together, which would be her credit card debt and her mortgage. So 3,650 plus 79,000, 3,650 plus 79,000 is 82,650. So now I'm going to figure out her net worth just with these things by subtracting her current assets and her current liability. So I'm going to find the net worth without the checking account by doing 192,500 minus her liabilities 82,650. And I get $109,850. So that is her net worth without the checking account. And then her net worth with the checking account is this much. So if I subtract those values, I can find how much she has in her checking account. So now I'm going to do 111,850 minus 109,850. And we get a $2,000 difference. So that means that Emma must have $2,000 in her checking account.